Welcome to the Pro Brick exclusive YouTube channel with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me on the channel. Um, otherwise known as Pro Bricky, um, being a masonry contractor for nearly 35 years or over 35 years now, we're going to talk about breakups are a big problem for the dumper. You might agree, you might not agree, but one thing's for sure, we're going to learn a lot from this. Let's get into it, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell, like, share and comment. Let's go. Environment. They have to adapt to you not being there. Just want to say he's talking about the dumper having to adapt because of the person that they've broken up with is no longer there. Ladies and gentlemen, um, if you dump somebody and it's going to cost you big time, which it can, um, you haven't done your homework in life. You need to... See, the Western world isn't culturalised to understand that relationships don't work. And you need to be taught how to manage that. Women are survivalists. Let me just talk for, for the women. Women are survivalists. Okay, they get hurt, they move on fast. Men, on the other hand, are defeatists. If you haven't equipped yourself to understand that relationships aren't going to work out, you're going to get angry, you're going to get sad, you're going to this, that and all the other. If you choose to break up with somebody, man, it's on you. It's on you. You never just break up some, with somebody for the sake of it. You break up with somebody because there's reasons for it and they haven't chosen to resolve them. Let me just show you something about the cockiness of women. Watch this video here, just quickly, just while we're here. I'll get it. Um, obviously full of herself, I'm sorry, uh, T.L.S. Smith. Um, but she said, I left my husband after being with him for 10 years. I gave him everything and he gave me nothing in written. Guys, you're dealing with DG, damaged goods. Um, you'll see in a minute how, uh, what could I say? How irresponsible this woman is. It's all based around her mindset. Even if it's wrong, it's still going to be right. These people are privileged. They've never had anyone confront them in a way in which they'd really stop and look at themselves. Um, I'd say the hus husband, what, what, and the thing is, why do they marry these people? Honestly, why do they marry these people? If they're so bad, right? Do you think if you had a missus like this, you'd be treating her as like a fucking idiot? I don't think so. You just don't do that. But women have got a habit of changing things. Let's see what goes on here, guys. My lover's got humor. She's a giggle at a funeral. Now, I just want you to see, does this woman look like she's sad or does she look like she's calculated? Man, if this ain't calculated, I don't know what is. I left my husband after being with him for 10 years. I gave him everything. He gave me nothing in return. Does she look like she's done it hard? There's no, no way in the world. The day I left, I looked at him and asked, do you still love me? Maybe he should have asked her that because it doesn't sound like it. Everybody's disapproval. You get, guys, you get blamed. See, she doesn't look like a sad, hard done by woman. She looks like a calculated, selfish, privileged woman. His response filled the air with silence because that's exactly what it was. Nothing. I, look, it goes both ways here, guys. She doesn't look like somebody that would have fought for anything. Or, I can remember in my last marriage, right? Never had an argument. Had a few fucking arguments over some of the immaturities this woman had. That's fine. She didn't suit her, but I didn't care. Um, then a then a lazy ass fucking 21, 22 year old, six foot four son moves in, right? And he was not going to let this woman have any dignity. He fucking humiliated her with his laziness. Fucking Oh, infantileness, you name it. He tried, but he was never going to make it. He was just too fucking spoiled and useless. Within 10 weeks, I fucking kicked him out. I said, you're going to have to go and house this fucking cunt somewhere else. He didn't pay his rent. He, 
she ran around after him like he was his second husband because that's what he was before I come along. He was a surrogate partner. Now, this woman, she's fallen out of love with this bloke for whatever reason, and she's going to turn the fucking problem on him. But he, you can tell he wasn't the problem. She's in too good nick. There's nothing wrong with her. She's so full of herself. She's lost the plot. Let's keep it going. If the heavens ever did speak, she's things. a last true mouthpiece. See, look, look how cocky it is. That's not a sad person that's just lost their marriage. That's a calculated, cunning, conceited, scornful, um, tunnel vision, I'll get what I want, woman. Like, Every Sunday is getting more bleak. The day Fresh before I left, I experienced we one of the worst sick. nights of my Heard life. Say and he didn't it. Even notice. I'll tell you why he didn't notice. Look at the look on her fucking face. I'll tell you why he didn't notice. Because he was too busy trying to sort his shit out while you were pulling his life apart. And then, then, and here comes the clincher. But the stranger who saved me, he noticed. Guys. Oh, look, honestly, guys, what did he wait for? He waited for her to fuck a marriage up and set herself up into a situation where she could leave without any conscience. He waited for her to fuck her marriage up and then he left without it. She could leave and make him look like the problem and him. This is what they do, guys. Come on. Get real. Don't judge a book by its cover. Please don't. You're going to get smashed. Um... And this guy, look, I tell you, there's these fuckwits prowling around families. They're prowling around the fucking um, marriages, waiting just to come around and fuck them up, right? And you get onto these wives of yours if they're playing up and whatnot. Get onto them and fucking tell them, pull your head in or get out. Sometimes you just got to cut your losses. If they, Once one of these women start, you're gone. There's too much on their side now for their wickedness for most of them to turn back, right? And this woman will get older and she'll get ran through and she'll start to look fucking old and no one will want her because she's too conceited. Can you see the conceited look on her face? Oh, the stranger waited. Look, when you're married, there shouldn't be fucking strangers prowling around. You shouldn't be entertaining strangers. Am I, am I losing the plot, guys, or what? Or is this modern day fucking woman mentality? It's wrong, guys. It's not right. There's nothing right about that shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, what's going on here? Why are they allowing all this? She never had the right to be married. She wasn't going to make the effort. It takes fucking extraordinary effort. All I'm saying is she doesn't look like somebody that's done it fucking hard, that's for sure. Oh, look, she's all happy about the fucking stranger. Fuck the husband, and this is what happens. Once they're done with your mate, whether you're married or not, you're, you've had it. You're just fucking kicked to the curb. These Sheila's are fucking mon monkey branching left, right, and center, getting banged behind your back. Come on, guys, fucking wake up. Women love to fucking play up and do naughty things and bad things. They get fucking bored. I hope you, you know, you're keeping the, the ones that you've got excited. Because they'll get bored and the next thing you're dealing with this sort of fucking behaviour where they're just pulling your life to pieces. Ten years down the fucking drain. Oh, look, look how fucking um, proud of herself she is because she's got the stranger in the background while she's pulling a fucking marriage apart. Guys, this is happening all over the fucking world. Look, 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 the victim, the fucking, the privileged toxic victim. Months later, after I saw my husband kiss another woman, he would have been banging that other woman. He would have been fed up with her. That stranger dressed in a suit showed up. That stranger in a suit, guys, was there the whole fucking time. Oh, for goodness sake, don't listen to the lies of these women. She's just on here trying to justify a critical fucking serial um, fucking collection of bad choices and decisions. She'll get ditched. Honestly, she's a self-privileged, self-righteous fucking piece of work. And she reckons she owed him a date. Some bloke's just given, him, given her 10 years of his fucking life. Probably run around. I've seen all this. You're working your ass off. You, you, you're fucking housing these people. You're running after them left, right and centre. And the best they can do is want to get fucked by somebody else.
Oh, come on, guys. Wake up. For fuck's sake, wake up, please. Subscribe and ring the bell and fucking... Come on, share the video and like it. These are modern day women. I'll show my husband how much of a fucking cunt I am, how much he miscalculated me. I'll go fuck a stranger and I'll justify that he's, I'll justify it by the fact that he left three months earlier. He, he's, you know, he's come to the point where he's had it with me and met somebody else, which is what, what you do. You don't fuck around with these Sheilas. And I'll justify the fact that I've been getting run through the whole fucking time by another bloke by saying he met somebody else. She calculatedly pulled the marriage apart. That's what they do. Guys, she was on with another bloke before the fucking trouble started. Where do you think the trouble comes from, guys? Oh, come on. I was born sick. She doesn't look like a sad woman. That She's calculated calculated this woman would take you to bed and fucking um spit you out the other side if you let her if you got no masculinity with a bitch like this mate you are gone this is a predator this is a self-righteous predator lock me up i don't give a fuck this is what you're dealing with guys his ideas of dates and mine were very different no they fucking weren't Oh, no, they won't. A conceited woman will drop her pants as soon as you can fucking get them on. Amen. Oh, and I'm so surprised that this bloke wanted to fuck me. I guess that's what happens when that stranger owns a club to fill everyone's desires. Oh, fuck. This is the sort of shit that she would have been going on with about the husband when she met him. And when she's finished with the stranger... Right, when she's finished with the stranger, she goes to the next stranger and then to the and you know what? They end up all on their fucking own, bent and twisted and cross eyed. Amen. See how she's psychologically trying to justify all this fucking evil? I guess that's what happens when that stranger owns a club and fills everyone's desires. Well, how many blokes is this guy banging? What she just won on a rotation doesn't seem to worry her. You see, these women will put up with the bad boy. They don't give a fuck how many guys he's having sex with. If they're being satisfied, you've got to understand this, guys, what you're dealing with inside the minds of these people. And it seems he knew what mine were. Oh, God, is it really all that hard to work out what a fucking woman wants, guys? Really? Then he sent the evidence to my husband. So he sent a picture of the of this guy getting fucking her up the ass or something. You know, come on, guys. Like this is just so conceited and evil. And 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 that justified her pulling apart the marriage. Her sending the poor old husband, who's probably fucking glad he's met somebody else, a picture of her getting banged by a stranger. Well, tell you what, if it was me, I'd fucking say, well, you know, that great, I got me kicks out of that and good luck with the rest of your life. Oh, come on, guys, subscribe and ring the bell. We're not fucking around here tonight. Come on, guys, this is good content. You're not going to get this in a university. Um, subscribe, ring the bell. Listen. Okay, well, there's a bit of a look inside to some of the content and the behavior of, um, that's called Dark Female Nature. Uh, episode 31 there's stacks of it guys and it's to help men to understand that there's there's just different stuff going on there, uh, on that we need to be aware of let's get on with this and that's a problem for anybody human beings like homeostasis and if you don't know what homeostasis means it means normality human beings typically do not like change human beings like the status quo Guys, for some people, um, normality and all that, they get bored. Oh, you know, I just want to stay at home. I just want to do this. Oh, I don't want to go out tonight. The next thing, they're bored. I've got a wonderful system that I run here. And I try and mix it up a little bit with different things. And Forget about normality, guys. You're dealing in a, with a society today that doesn't know, for the most part, what normality is. They don't even know who they are themselves. Human beings like everything to be quite mundane. And that brings me to a point. 
I see a lot of relationships fail because of a few reasons, but this is one of the main ones. It's a never ending roller coaster of ups and downs, highs and lows, extreme happiness and extreme sadness, extreme drama. When in fact, guys, the best relationships out there are actually quite mundane. The day to day. I can agree with that. Um, but that's if they're not being interfered with, if somebody else ain't interfere excuse me interfering in it and buggering things up i have wonderful relationships with my girls until somebody fucking will, tries to intrude like children or parents or whatever the case might be relatives and then quite frankly i'm out after that i couldn't be bothered i'm too old day is actually quite normal but what these relationships actually get right is they work on themselves they don't seek approval from their partners. They don't seek validation from their partners. And this is the point that I've been making all along. So this guy's gone round into a completely different direction. It's not about being attached, over-attached, codependent, and losing all your energy and, and losing yourself. You're not to lose yourself in your relationship. You're just not. But... They do turn up for themselves and they do turn up for the relationship. It's the little things that they do every day by saying, hey, just saying I love you because I love you. And I'm not saying it to hear it back. It's that random call, that random text message, that random act of kindness. Yeah, but guys, you can do all that. It's not going to guarantee that the issues are going to be resolved. Right, there's a deeper, deeper problems going on here. When you've dumped somebody, the issues just haven't been resolved. And you can keep texting and I love you and this and that. Makes no difference. If the person isn't resolving the issue, the issue is more valuable than you. That's a few key words. I hear you. That's all. So Take a step back today, guys, and appreciate that you're going to be okay, and your ex, at one time or another, firstly, loved you very much, and just because... I just want to make something clear. I still... The, the, the love doesn't go. You just got to get yourself away from the problem. And if the person's got the problem, and it may not be them directly, but indirectly, and they're not fixing it, that's it. Because they've lost emotional attraction for you now. Doesn't mean that they never cared. It doesn't mean they won't miss you. And it doesn't mean they won't have second thoughts. Because guys, the biggest problem that the dumper has is that they get a delayed reaction. It catches up to them three or six months later. Sometimes <laughs> even later than that. Oh, no. No, it doesn't, guys. It doesn't. Three or six months later, you're with somebody else trying to make a new life for yourself, hopefully hoping that you're going to get a good run. You know? Come on. When you are well on your way to healing, when, when you are well on your way to being in relief as a let's just let's just get this straight dumper or dumpy either either are going to get their life straight all right we try and neg we try and make out the dumper's not going to make it or the person that's been dumped ain't going to make it you'll make it as far as you want to make it right you have got to see where's the rationale if you've been dumped and it's fair, that's it. If you've been dumped and it's not fair, that's it. If you've dumped someone and um, it's made on uh, rational decisions, that's it. If you've dumped someone and you change your mind, well, you need to review how you think. Post of anxiety. Whether they reach out or not is another story. That's another conversation. And... There's no real science that can accurately predict that. Sure, do people reach out? Absolutely. Do they reach out to reconcile sometimes? 
not all the time. Sometimes they just reach out because they're feeling lonely or they're testing the waters. They want to see if you've done the work on yourself. On yourself. So, and I've been in this situation, guys, where I've been the dumper and the dumpy hasn't reached out to me. And I, at one time or another, I was having an absolute meltdown, anxiety, and ended up reaching out. And that person had moved on, already seeing someone else was in a better place or just knew that we wasn't right for each other. It's happened to me, guys. And it's happened to a lot of people that I've spoken to. And it happens every day. Happens every day, man. Women are ruthless, merciless, survivalists when it comes to relationships. You're not as important. I've got to get this. Man, you are not as important as you think. You're just not. I'm sorry if that offends you or it's not adding up with the narrative. You are not as important as you think. I'm a millionaire, fit and healthy. No competition around me, right, for my age. I did 3,600 and something kilometers of exercise last year on top of all the work that I do and sex that I have and all the rest of it, on top of, and I still couldn't get any, any resolve out of the last one or the one before that or the one before that. You're dealing with the whole complexity of stuff that's going to test your tolerance, test your boundaries, test your values, and test your standards. And you can love these people, and you can welcome them to your house, and entertain them, and be a a wonderful host, a masculine escort host. But it ain't going to fix the unresolved, man. If they don't want to fix something, to stay with you, the problem's more valuable than you. You've got to understand these principles, guys. And if you're prepared to tolerate crap, right, and garbage, probably not directly from that person. Probably it could be a situation that they just haven't got the courage or fortitude or resilience to fix. Then you've got to make some decisions. My last girl, I liked her. She was, she was a nice lady. Um, she just couldn't find a way of dealing with the problem. And it wore me out. I, tr- I really tried, man. I tried, I tried, I tried. But I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it any longer, you know. Wasn't, was it her fault? Whether it was her fault or not, it cost her the relationship, you know. I don't know what, what she thinks now. Or it doesn't matter. really doesn't matter. I'm mobile. But, um, yeah, man, you haven't got a problem if you're the dump dumper. You wouldn't dump somebody without that sort of consideration. I'm sure there's people that do and then they regret it and all this and that and how do I fix it. Guys, guys, the next person you meet could come out of a situation that is way worse than what you have to offer. And be so grateful that they met you. They're going to love you for life and do whatever they have to to make sure that the relationship's protected from dysfunction and stuff. Some people have those qualities of values. Others don't care. They'll just push you until you go, I'll see you later. This is what you're up against, guys. Hey, subscribe to The Love Fix. I thought this guy handled that pretty well. We'll just let him finish. So trust me. I say the dumper has a huge fucking problem. No, the dumper doesn't have a a fucking rationale um, intact functioning person who splits up with somebody does not have a problem. Just, no, there's a series of events that they have to deal with, but you should be trained trained in yourself. Look, fuck. By the time I hit high school, I knew what women were going to do and what they weren't going to do. You're dealing with brutal, merciless survivalists. That's what women are. And they'll just go on like you didn't exist. You could be put six foot under the ground. They're going on, mate, with what they want to do. That's just how it is. And until you realize that, 
you're going to be kicked to and throw. And the biggest problem will be you not being there and the gift of your silence. And that's all I've got for today. Happy Friday. Have well, thanks for that, Nick. <laughs> Food for thought, guys, isn't it? That turned out to be a four-part response video to The Love Fix. Subscribe to the channel, The Love Fix channel. And I hope you enjoyed this series, guys. This is Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. On the ProBricky exclusive YouTube channel. I'll catch you on the next one, guys.